Hey, what's up, Silas here. This is going to be a video about me watching the SpaceX launch of the Falcon Heavy, which is set, has sent the heaviest payload ever into space on a rocket. Amazing stuff, amazing video. It was kind of an impromptu thing. Impromptu thing. I didn't really expect to make this video, but I was just sitting here watching it, and I was like, wow, this is amazing. Uh, let me kind of share this moment with uh, you guys who are watching. If you guys hadn't seen it, there's going to be links below to the actual full broadcast, live broadcast of this um, launch and everything. But the amazing thing about this three-stage rocket, it's reusable. So the two first boosters detached, came back to Earth. We show, we saw them landing. The main booster, there were some problems as it was landing. So we don't, I don't know yet if it actually landed successfully. But I suggest you check out the video. I mean, you could just watch me, <laughs> watch me watch it. I kind of have the camera on what's going on for some of the time and give some commentary to it. But after that, there's going to be links to below to it. If you guys don't know more about SpaceX, going to be links to that too. So check that out. All right. Okay, so it's T minus two minutes and 27 seconds and counting to the launch of the Falcon Heavy. And the Falcon Heavy, there's going to be links below to a blog post with a video that I saw by Computing Forever talking about how private companies are probably going to be the ones that take us to Mars. And this is SpaceX Falcon Heavy. This is a test flight for it. And you can see there's the two rockets here. And there's a main booster here. There's the two boosters here. These two boosters are going to detach and then land on land. They've already tested that whole thing of them coming back on land. And the main booster is going to detach and then it's going to go off and land somewhere in the ocean to be carried on a different um, platform. And <laughs> this is the super exciting. People get super excited about like teams. Oh, my team won. This Philadelphia Eagles just won. People go out in the street and riot and do this kind of nonsense. Or people get on the race saying, oh, this is my race. This is my, my genocide. This, we need to have more of my race. We need to have somebody of their race win. Somebody of their tribe wins and they feel that they have a win. This is the race. I'm, more, I'm more psyched about it. this human race right here. I wish people could watch this and get as psyched as I'm psyched about being like, this is what humanity can do too. I know we can do some horrible things, but one minute counting down. I'm, I'm going to try to be quiet. <laughs> I might give some commentary when it's going off. But uh, this is the kind of stuff. Facebook Live. Facebook has a lot of shenanigans, but it also has this. Okay. Wow. T-minus 30 seconds. 125.7 thousand people watching. It needs to be like 3 million at least. What's going on, people? Side boosters are now throttling back up the 
low power. We're past max Q, the period of maximum loads on the vehicle. Next up, we'll be waiting for the side boosters to begin to throttle down prior to booster engine cutoff and separation two and a half minutes into flight. GNC trajectory looks good on the Falcon Heavy. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are excited about this as I am, but this is pretty amazing stuff. Reports show that the M1D engine performance is nominal. Actually, in the far, far future, from all of them, from watching a ton of anime, <laughs> and also just like hard sci fi. have begun to throttle down in preparation for the upcoming shutdown in 20 seconds. In Kenya, it's going to be one of the locations of the space elevator that's going to be connected to Earth and to the interplanetary ring. And this is just one of the technologies that... It's one of the technologies that is used, that is proposed in space, using something like the Lagrange points. Okay, look at this amazing stuff. It's crazy. <laughs> the rocket, the boosters should just detach and now they're flying back to Earth so they can be reused again. Those two boosters had already been used for something else before. Successful separation! We're coming up on Nico in shutdown. Wow. How fast the heat set. Coming up on bearing separation. Second side the good. This is amazing stuff. Mm -hmm. Kind of speechless a bit here. Okay, not kind of, kind of speechless, but I'm still, I can still say things. I can't give a speech, maybe, but I can still say things. So these were two um, boosters going back to land, and this is a good payload. <laughs> Elon Musk's uh, Roadster, and they're wearing the Space X spacesuit. Don't panic. I think that's from um, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. It's an amazing series that everybody should read. Watch the film too, the film's pretty decent, but the books, amazing stuff. These are the people who are in charge of, these are SpaceX uh, employees and stuff. Just amazing stuff. Yeah, of course, I'm going to leave wow. a link below to the actual wow. video. Did you guys see that? That was awesome. That's the only thing I can <laughs> really say right now. Absolutely wild. Absolutely wild. Wow. I, I got nothing else. Oh, man. Uh, recapping all the great things that you just saw there. Uh, successful liftoff from the pad. Successful stage separation. But before that, successful booster separation. You can see stage one. Uh, the two side boosters, pardon me, you can see the center core, and you can see MVAC lit up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> then the beautiful shots of uh, Starman chilling in the Tesla Roadster. Uh, absolutely <laughs> incredible. Uh, on your screen at the moment, uh, I don't know. Um, the yeah. Right, <laughs> <you have MVAC, laughs> continuing burn. Uh, on the upper left, you have the center core headed back towards the autonomous spaceport drone ship. And in the two bottom screens, you've got the side boosters headed back towards Cape Canaveral Air Force Station landing zones one and two. Uh, the next step coming up for the side boosters and the center booster uh, is the re-entry burn. Uh, that's going to slow it down from uh, or slow all the boosters down from. So what have you what have you done lately what are you mounting cameras on? <laughs> this is the kind of things you see this thing and be like look 
these guys, this is what they did for the last two, three years of their life. Like, what were you doing for the last two, three years of your life? What are your excuses for not achieving things that you think you can possibly do? Because people are out there mounting cameras and developing technology and software and engineering things that can go to space and come back to Earth. And this is just amazing stuff. And I know some people, including me, have some considerations, some questions about the um, maintenance or just a company like Tesla that still has a government private relationship which gets a lot of, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, what's the term? I, the term is case me right now because it's just amazing stuff. It gets a lot of um, subsidies from the government to make the, make his cars. But I think with Elon Musk, he's actually gone on and he's he's focusing more on this stuff. I think this is the kind of stuff he seems to be somebody who maybe likes innovating. But then once the thing is up and going, he's like, okay, it's up and going on to the next thing. But I think he definitely has a lot more passion to this. Let's get back to what's going on here. Um, anyway, even if there's government involved in this and he's got a Tesla car out there that has subsidies, it's still in space. I'm still psyched. Look at this, now they're coming back to land on Mars. Look at this. This is amazing. Okay, I, I don't think people realize how ridiculous this is. This, these things were almost in space. This is absurd. Wow. Okay, seriously, human beings. <laughs> team human, best, best team. This one is out in the ocean somewhere. So they had to figure out where it's, where it's going to be. of the rocket and how it shakes up the cameras that are on the drone ship. Sometimes we do lose signal or shakes up the antennas. Oh, and we, we've just gotten confirmation. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we're we're waiting that. to hear what happens. And so we're listening in and, and we're still waiting to hear. Uh, we'll let you know as soon as we find out. You'll know. People are cheering. <laughs> but uh, we'll get the call and, and know hopefully very, very soon how that center core is doing, whether it's Standing up proud on that drone ship or not? Um, um, meanwhile, the, <laughs> oh, those were those were absolutely <laughs> gorgeous. Um, meanwhile, the the second stage is continuing its trajectory uh, towards Mars. Um, it's all it's all looking good there. John, I uh, come give us a recap of the the full mission. <laughs> he stands. <laughs> oh, I wish you could hear all that cheering. So <laughs> yeah. I guess here, now the car's out in space, as you can see, it's going to have this orbit that goes past Mars. I mean, okay, the apex, the, it's on some kind of um, elliptical orbit, and one of the points is going to be close to Earth, and then the next one's going to be where uh, Mars passes by, by, the, by the sun. I can't really explain this too well. It's going to be there. I'm going to give links to this entire presentation online. You can check it out. But this is just seriously just amazing stuff. And um, I'm just thinking about, like, okay, this, this car is going to be out there in space for, like, millions of years. Like, I'm just thinking, like, in the future, having somebody, like, some space colony on Mars at that time. And then you just have something where they're like, yeah, we're finally going to retrieve this. Then it's like some super classic car. People talk about, oh, you got a classic car from a hundred years ago. Because <laughs> when when did cars start coming out in nineteen ten or something? So like you can have a hundred year old car, but now you can have like possibly you could have a million year old car. You can find a way to have gas and stuff like that in the far far future. But this is just I don't know. Glad to be alive at this time and to be able to see things like this. Um, 
Yeah, just just amazing stuff. Uh, please, if you guys haven't checked out SpaceX, even if you're not that interested in space and things like that, I think this is the kind of stuff that just gives you this uh, this boost about just society and humanity and what we can do and the future. And I think these are these are human moments that we can all share and enjoy. And I don't know. I want to see if I can try to like explain this to somebody who's like never even learned about spaceflight. I'm wondering like if you just show this to people who are currently divided off of some kind of basic things on Earth, and you're like, yes, look, this is the ocean. You know that massive thing that you guys have never seen that you know of, but maybe you've seen once or twice and you just think this is the biggest thing ever and who lives on that other side? Well, you're over here. Someone else is over here that you think you hate or think hates you or think is completely different from you. But all those people just sent something out into space. And it's... Anyway. <laughs> Rambling too much. Um, if you guys like this video let me know let me know if you guys like this video this kind of form of me just watching something and reacting to it um there's probably i would i wasn't planning on doing this but i just saw it come up and i was like okay i'm just this is amazing i want to share this with people and uh talk about it so there might be other things if you guys like this format let me know and uh you can suggest also other things like hey this this cool thing is coming up uh let me know because i'm not i don't really have the time I might not have the time to find as many cool things, but also kind of want to know what amazes you guys. What do you guys think is pretty cool? But yeah, that's it for now. Like, share, and subscribe. Links below to the merchandise store. Need to do some kind of space-related. Yeah, there's one space-related shirt I'm going to do. And I thought of this thing, instead of like space cadet, you know, people say like some people who are like kind of airheads, like space cadets, want to have like vacuum vet, where it's like, yes, I spend a lot of time daydreaming and floating around where my head kind of goes away so people are like are you spacing out no i'm not spacing out i'm a vacuum vet i like taking my mind out there and just kind of being like out just thinking about the kind of crazy things or not crazy things but just have my mind float away and think about things that are outside of our general daily life things i spend a lot of time doing that and i enjoy it i think you guys should try it like share and subscribe Check out the SpaceX video. Amazing stuff. Goodbye.